Hello and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and after the shenanigans of yesterday's fog puzzle with lying clues and um, and what was the other thing? Schrodinger cells. Today I'm going to turn my attention to one of my very favourite constructs in the world. I was going to say one of my favourite new constructs of the world but that actually is doing Icy Fruit a disservice. Every single one of Icy Fruit's puzzles I have I have attempted so far has been absolutely unbelievably good. And this one is called Cobra's Curse. And it's be up by been recommended. Um, I mean I think probably I need to I need to do all the Icy Fruits puzzles, but this one in particular has been recommended by some of you. Um, and a very sparse grid today and a really unusual rule set uh, involving a product snake or something. What is it called? Anyway, I don't know. I'll, I'll read the rules of this in a moment or two's time. It's got a whopping high rating on Logic Masters Germany and four stars out of five for difficulty. Um, so we shall see what we shall see. Um, now, a few things to mention. Today is the 20th of February, which means it is the closing date for our competition. So if you haven't quite finished um, Riff Clown's Sudoku Hunt, um, which of course is our Patreon reward, um, you've, you've, you've got hours, hours only left to do it. I mean, we are generous, I will tell you that, because we, we assume that everybody is in the furthest possible time zone um, from the UK. Um, so so we, we are generous, but do try and get your solutions over to us as soon as you can if you want to be in with a chance of winning the prize. Um, other than that, I'm going to give um, a shout out to Count de MC, who tweeted us with news that small ant um, apparently watches Cracking the Cryptic. Now, small ant is an enormous sort of Twitch streamer playing computer games at a rather a rather higher level, should we say, <laughs> than Mark and I manage um, doing speed runs and the like. Um, so, thank you very much, small ant, for watching us. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know if somebody can let small ant know that 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 we're grateful. That would that would be we would be grateful for that. Um, so count MC, thank you very much for bringing that to our attention. It's, it is it is incredible where cracking the cryptic gets. Um, the only other news I've got actually today is some birthdays. So let's move on to those. Uh, actually, I'm going to start with Nancy, whose birthday it was yesterday. Nancy turned 67 yesterday and she was kind enough to send me a picture of her birthday cake, which looks absolutely brilliant. And apparently, I mean, even though this does look like it's got a very decent ratio of icing to cake, it's even there's even more icing because the middle is hollow and is filled with more icing. So Nancy, I can only assume you've had an absolutely brilliant birthday and you're probably recovering from eating this cake today. Um, but I am quite jealous of it. Uh, now, other actual birthdays today. Robin, it's your birthday today. You've turned 33. And I know this because your friend Dan wrote to us and said you'd really appreciate a shout out. Um, and he's very sorry he can't be there today. I think you might be staying with him um, and he's had to go away. Um, but he, he guarantees cake at the weekend and asked if we could say happy birthday. So Robin, many happy returns and I'm sorry your cake will be late. And I hope this shout out makes up for it a teeny amount. Um, and then Sterling, you've turned 32 today. And I know this because your girlfriend, Ashley, wrote to us and said that you really like the Fog of War puzzles. Well, yesterday's video is for you. <laughs> um, so Sterling, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a great birthday today. And that's the news. So let's turn our attention to some Sudoku solving. I shall get my hands in the correct position on the keyboard. Um, so misclicks shouldn't be a plenty. We shall see. And these are the rules of Icy Fruit's new puzzle. They are as follows. Normal Sudoku rules apply. And that means we've got to put the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box. Blue lines are region sum lines. Along the line, the sum of the digits within each three by three box must be the same. So, okay, so they're very short lines, these. And basically what that's saying is that those two cells add up to those two cells because the only appearance of this line in box six, look, is those two cells. So then it crosses the boundary and moves into box three where its only appearance is these two cells. So let's do this line. That's gonna mean that one is equal to the sum of those three. In fact, I should, if I do get through this 
this this puzzle and this becomes a video i might change the the rules to be that that new formulation we saw in For florian wartman's puzzle the other day which was a beautifully uh, concise way of stating the region sum line constraint um now, brown lines, these are weird. Brown lines are product sum lines. The digits on each end of the line must multiply together to give the sum of all digits on the line. So, let's look at this one. So the digits on the end of the line, so those two cells, you multiply them, you get a number, and that should be the sum of all the digits on the line, so including the ends themselves. So let's think about how that might work. If this was 4 and this was 5, that would be 20. So these two squares would have to add up to 11 because 4 plus 5 is 9 and we need to get to 20. So, so if this was, uh, no, I was going to put 7, 4, which is totally inept. If I do 9 and 2... I think that might be a legitimate way of filling that product line. Uh, if I've got that wrong, I apologise, but that's um, that is what I think it means. Um, right, and then we have to draw a one cell wide snake which moves orthogonally and does not touch itself, even diagonally. So that means we can't have snakes. I had struggled to draw this the other day. Uh, we can't have a snake that does something like that. Um, because if that was a snake, the snake has touched itself diagonally, and that is too naughty for words. Um, the snake must enter every three by three box exactly once. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't sort of dip in and then dip out again like this, um, and may not include any cell which is on a line, but may include circled cells. Okay, the snake acts as both a region sum line and a product sum line. So the rules we've just described for the, for the brown lines and the blue lines have to apply to the whole snake, which is a very interesting, it makes it a very unusual creature, <laughs> this snake, this cobra we've got to find. And then a digit in a circle indicates the number of times that digit appears on the snake. So notice that the number of times the digit appears on the snake, not the number of times the digit appears in circles. So circles rules I'm very familiar with. Um, and in fact, if, 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 if this was circles rules, we'd have to write two into those because then two would appear twice in circles. Um, but no, that's not how this works. So we're going to build a snake. Oh, though it's not allowed to go over lines, is it? Um, we're going to build a snake somehow. And it's got to go to all the boxes. Um, so something like that might be a snake. I think that's gone to all the boxes. Uh, I don't mean it if it hasn't. I've I just tried to sketch it in. And then um, we're going to populate this with digits. Well, let's actually, let's just think about this. What are we then saying? We're saying that those two cells, the endings of the snake, multiply together. So you multiply these numbers and that should be equal to the sum of all the digits on the snake. And we've got region sum lines going on. So those three digits would add up to the same as those four cells, add up to the same as those three cells, add up to the same as those two cells, etc. And these circles have to contain the number of times. So the digit in a circle indicates the number of times that that digit appears on the snake. So if you were to write a three in here, there would be three threes on the snake. Um, and that's the rules. So fascinating, a really interesting rule set today. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, so we may start here, I suppose. What does this line mean? So those two digits multiply together to give the sum of all of those digits but these digits all have to be different so the minimum they could be would be 15. Uh, actually hang on 15 21 no you probably probably actually want to look at the maximum they can be the maximum they can be is 35 if they were 5 6 7 8 and 9. 35 mm, actually it's not it's not very constrained i mean because i mean in, in an extreme world if that's double nine 
that's 81 now obviously we can't get to 81 on here but we could get we can get to a lot of numbers that could be quite low if this is one two three four five and these were very low as well so it could be a number around 20 so this could be four and five or it might even be able to be two and nine or something like that no nine would take it up too high two and nine silly but but certainly these don't have to be very big and that indeed they can't both be very big because you can't make this add up so so high um now i was about to say maybe the small lines are under more pressure but I, when i did the example on the brown line that wasn't very interesting oh well we could take the low hanging fruit of the blue cell i suppose um because this digit is the sum of these three cells even if we minimize these three cells with one two and three this would be at least six so that's at least a six but this one's the, um, i mean this is just a disambiguating line i think we're just saying that that domino which could be i mean let's say it could add up to 11 adds up to that domino uh, that digit there can't be in these two cells so that digit is a bit restricted in box three the, the reason it can't be here look is if it was then this digit and this digit would be the same number <laughs> it, it's unavoidable and the same is true if that one's the green one it, it, these two digits would be the same number to make sure that the maths work along the line so that digit is well it's either in the circle or it's in one of those three cells now okay so we're going to have to think about this snake now what do we have to do with the snake so the snake is very long <laughs> it's very long doesn't touch itself even diagonally it goes to every three by three box exactly once and acts as a region sum line and a product sum line so it's very likely to end in two nines isn't it i mean how I'm just wondering if we can prove that the digits on the snake can't sum to less than 81 because there's going to be an awful lot of digits on this snake if it's got to visit all the three by three boxes i mean let's just sketch a snake in um got to visit all the boxes so what about something like that like that, that's a very pretty looking snake ah no i've messed up there sorry i didn't see I've, I've gone into a box um oh so you could shorten the snake quite a lot actually I, I went into box two twice which is it says i'm not allowed to do so i could do something like that now if that was the snake that would be 15 at least if it was one two three four and five that would be 15 at least that's 30 36 if we add those in at 1 2 3 46 52 and now actually I'm, I'm totally changing my mind I thought I thought the ends of the snake would probably have to be double nine but we just saw that you can actually keep it down very low um right what am I missing about this rule set then Uh, it acts as a region sum line right so in fact one thing we can say for certain is that the sum of the digits on the snake add to a multiple of nine because it acts as a region sum line so the, the cells that live in the snake in box one add up to the set the cells that bit are on the snake in box two add up to the cells that are on the snake in box seven etc so each because each box has the same amount of or sum of digits um, and there are nine sudoku boxes we must be looking at a number like 81 or 72 or 63 etc um hmm. 
Okay, but um, <laughs> I don't know what that means, really. Uh, well, okay, one thing that does mean is that we can't... Or is it, I'm about to say something that's total and utter nonsense. I was about to say something that's total and utter nonsense, I think. Shall I tell you what I was about to say and then you can all laugh at me? I, I, will, t I will tell you what I was about to say. Uh, I don't think that there's any justification for it, though. I was about to say that, that that meant the fact that we're adding up to a multiple. No, it is right. No, it, I am right. My instinct was right. Good brain. Well done, brain. That's so strange. So my brain told me something that I, I should say. And then the naughty part of my brain said, hmm, are you sure? And then the good part of my brain was like, oh, be careful. Don't say it. Don't say it in case it's nonsense. But the good part of my brain had appreciated something that the, the sort of naughty part of my brain hadn't appreciated at all. But then the good part of my brain couldn't immediately tell me why it had thought that in the first place, which makes it a bit naughty. So my good brain was being a bit naughty. But now I can tell you what I was going to say. What I was going to say is that you can't have four cells in, in a box on the snake. And, and that's because, of course, if, if, the, snake, if the snake did that, um, so say, I don't know, I don't, just imagine the snake was doing this. And do, 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 do. Um, the, these cells here, obviously, these would have a minimum sum of 10. And 10 won't work. Uh, and 10 won't work, of course, because, and this was the part my good brain appreciated, but then, then, then didn't reveal to me. If, if you did have, um, the, the maximum size the snake can be is obviously 81, which, I, mean, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't know what my brain's thinking, but yeah, it's 81 is the maximum, because we could put two nines on the end. We can't put a nine and a 10 in the ends of the snake. So the product line aspect of this limits the maximum size of the region sums. To n so we could have nine times nine, 81, um, is the absolute maximum that this snake can have, which would, would have nine in each region. And if you can only have nine in each region, you can't put four, four cells uh, in any one region because four cells would add up to 10 and mean we'd have to have sort of a 10 on the end of the line, which we can't have. So what does that mean? That means, well, that means, oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do first? I'm going to do this. I'm going to just, um, I'm going to blacken out or something all of the cells that can't be on the snake because it said the snake is not allowed to go on on line cells, didn't it? Yeah, so so our snake has to somehow get through the grid. So yeah, now we can say, yeah, this square here can't be on the snake because if this was on the snake, to get out of box three, it would take at least, well, at least four cells. And we, we know that we can't have four cells included. Now we're going, hmm, can we do that? Any, actually, we, maybe we can't do that anywhere else. That's so peculiar. What about, well, one thing we can say is that the, oh, How could the snake? Uh, yeah, okay. How could the snake not have an end in box one? If, if, if the snake has to traverse box one, there's no way because the, the most efficient way it could get 
it is something like that and that's taken four cells in box one which we can't have so there is an end of the snake in box one and that means the other end of the snake is in an odd numbered box um I, <laughs> <laughs> my good brain is telling me that that's true and and also not artic not enable me to articulate that what's wrong with my brain now the the, re the reason for that is that obviously if you're if you start uh, a path in in box one then the next box you visit from box one is either going to be box two or box four an even numbered box and then once you've visited the next box, which might be this box, the next box you visit is going to be an odd numbered box because it's going to be one of those two boxes. So by it's sort of by parity, the ninth box you visit is going to be an odd numbered box. So I, I, hopefully that's clear. Um, uh, so but what that means that oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, actually, because what that means is that the snake now, so, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, this is fine. So because we know that the snake has a start or end in box one, we now know that the snake traverses all of the even numbered boxes. And that means, how does it get through box two? It can never take this cell, can it? Because if it does, it's go you have to take four cells to get out. So that cell is not allowed to be on the snake. We know the snake doesn't end in this box, so because that's an even number box. So all of those cells are off, off the snake. That, this cell now can't be on the snake because that would force us to take four cells in box one to get out. We have to... Yes, okay, and now we have to traverse all of the even numbered boxes. So we have to traverse box four, which means we have to go into it and get out of it again. And if we if we were to go into this cell, we'd ha have to take four cells, however we do it. So that's not on the snake. So this is this is our first snake cell. So in, and that's going to immediately give us three snake cells. What colour should I use for the snake? I use green. Um the yeah, because we have to go into box one. We then go here. We then go here. And we have to get out of out of this box with alacrity because we can't have four digits in, in this box. So we either go there or we go there. But that cell is definitely off the snake. Uh, now box oh this looks troubling doesn't it how do we do this box oh I see we can just tri oh no it's, it's not difficult we can just go straight across it I was thinking maybe we'd have to go on a little in fact that's quite a difficult thing to do that ah Actually, hang on. Ah, okay. Um, I, I'm not sure about this, but this box looks interesting as well. Because I've got to get into this box and possibly out of it again, but that's very hard. It, it's very difficult to get in and out of this box. Um, well, you can't get in and out of this box if you take these two cells, because to get to those cells, once you do that, once you do a turn, the snake's going to touch itself. So, right. So the only way that box three doesn't have the only way that box three isn't an end of the snake is if we just clip this cell. And if we do that, we have to do that. And that looks very difficult to me because of this box. Because then, then in order to avoid the snake touching itself, we have to do that. And now you can see we can never take this cell. And that means that this, this snake piece here 
and we have to traverse this box has to get to this box because it can't come here and it can't get to this box without taking four cells so that's not right and that's really that's great because now we know that box three is the is the other end of the snake to box one so this has got a snake end in it uh, which I know it could be uh, could it be there if it's there and it does it could only take three cells in box three so it could do that I oh, know it's fine actually it could, it could be there so I can't rule this out from being snake but that is the end of the snake right okay and that's well the, the place I can immediately see that's useful bizarrely is box nine because I've, that means I've got to get in and out of box nine within three cells. So I think that's forced, isn't it? Certainly, I can't see another way of doing that. So that gives me these two cells. Now I've got to get in and out of box eight. So we, we are just going horizontally across box eight. That's forced. We, come, we pop out into box seven. So we've got to come through this little channel now. <laughs> we've created we've created quite a lot of snake how do we get out of box six with uh, within three cells we've got to do that oh this is absolutely isn't this sensational this this icy fruit is unbelievable as a setter it's unbelievably brilliant this that you can just sort of fill this snake in um now this is clearly not snake we've got to be very careful how we get out of this box i mean Oh, we could take that square. We can't come down here. We've got to get out too quickly. We can't take that cell. It said, did it say we could, we could go over the circles? Sorry, let me just check the rules. May not include any cell on a line, but yeah, may include a circle. So we can go over the circle. Um... Hmm. And we have to end up in this box. But we can yeah, we can do that in a variety of quite quite unstructured ways. So we could do something really oh no, couldn't do that. Oh that's quite interesting. You can't do that, I just drew in. Because if you did that wouldn't those two cells have the same value? I mean, you can, we can clearly fix that by extending the snake slightly. But that, that is certainly, we're going to have to be careful, especially in this row, perhaps, that we don't end up with the same single digit in a variety of cells. Oh, and yeah, that's not a bad thought in terms of If those add, if if we take that square, the minimum they can add up to is twenty eight, and that's more than they can add up to. <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay, so now we can do maths. We can deploy maths on the on the snake. I think. Um, so what I'm thinking there is that if this square is on the snake. And if that's the way that the snake closes in box seven, these cells, there are seven of them, and the minimum they could be would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the triangular number for seven is 28. So that would mean that if we, if we then sum the absolute minimum, I mean, we could, we, it, it, it's broken already, but just to show you, um, we've, we would have to add those two in as well, wouldn't we, to give us the, the sum total of these three regions and if we made those a one two pair that would be 31's worth of digits now that should be mod 3 it should be 0 mod 3 it should divide exactly by 3 because we know each each region sum portion sums to x so this should be 3x and 31 wouldn't be but but the point is that x in this example is 10.333 recurring and 10.3 is not something i can I can deal with. I can't have the region sums adding up to 10 because then the overall snake will add up to 90. And even if I put two nines in the in the ends of the snake, it's two. We are, we're only meant to get to 81. So this is not snake. 
Uh, and that tells us how the snake closes through box seven, which is rather pretty. And in fact, if we've got, we've got 21, 27, oh, that's it. That's it. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> we, can, we can put our pens down. We have finished the puzzle. No, we haven't finished the puzzle, but we have, I think, just proved something really beautiful, which is we can now work out what this snake adds up to. What, what each region adds up to. And that's using the triangular number again. These six cells, if I minimize them, they add up to 21. If they're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the minimum value for these three squares would be a 1, 2, 3 triple. So the minimum sum of those digits, the absolute minimum I could make them add up to is 21 plus 6, which is 27. 27 is 3x, so x would be 9. Well, we can't have x being greater than 9. Because 9, as a region sum, tells us the overall snake adds to 81, which just works if we put 9s. In fact, we have to have single digit ends. Oh, I've broken it. No. No, I haven't broken it. Ooh, I thought I'd broken it. Because I was suddenly, but isn't that, isn't that a problem in this row? But it's not a problem. Uh, this is, I mean... When I said we might have finished a puzzle, I, I actually think that we've made an enormous step forward because we have to put nine as a single digit in the snake ends to get to the 81 that we now know is the minimum total for the snakes. We have to put one, two, three here. We have to put one, two, three, four, five, six here. That's a proper pencil marking. We have to put a single nine at the snake end because we can't extend this again because then this wouldn't be a nine. And we need double nine on the snake ends to make the product get high enough. So th this is forced. And then where is the snake end in box three? It can't be in this row. So it must be there. And that just doesn't break, which means the snake goes there. And then it goes there. Uh, then I don't know what it does after that. Um, oh, my phone's buzzing. Uh, these squares are all off the snake. Um, don't quite know what that means, but that feels like it's that feels like we've made an enormous amount of progress all of a sudden. So each box contains nine on its region sum, which probably matters somehow sorry i'm now completely well okay one thing i can do with that is write nine here by sudoku because i can't put nine within these three cells when they're supposed to only add up to a maximum of nine Oh dear, hang on. I'm sh I'm sure this is I'm sure this is very um very achievable now. I just have to suddenly work out what to do next. I mean, if this does go there, we get a U pentomino. We get that shape. Does that feel more or less difficult? Uh, the minimum sum of how many that would be 21 no that okay that's why that's how you do it right what we've now got to do is to combine this with this so imagine the snake did go there now look at those six cells together and ask what the absolute what's the what's the value of them well these would be nine and these are a maximum of nine if this is a nine which actually it can't be now uh so they're now a maximum of eight, and that's even worse. So the maximum size of those um, six digits by mathematics is now 17. But the triangular number for six is 21. So it, it, we just can't make that work. And that is what's telling us that that has to not do that. This, oh, this closes. So we've got our snake. We've finished the snake. The snake is finished. There we go. We've done it. Um, so do we want to probably get rid of all the black cells because i think this looks quite good but i'm just nervous that i think the other day i did a puzzle where i i did um i used an 
unusual colour and people didn't like it. I thought, oh no, I know what I did. I used dark blue with the blue digits. Um, but I, I think we can just have our snake like this, can't we? That's that's perfectly acceptable way to portray Hissing Sid. So each little segment now adds up to nine. And we've gone through a circle and there must be a one on this blue thing because it's either adding up to six, seven or eight. So, in fact, if that was a six, those would be 15 and they'd have to be one, two, three, four, five, which is the triangle number five. We're doing triangular numbers today. Uh, but that could be an eight. And then these would add up to 17. They still have to have one, two and three in them. That is forced. Uh, and you can see that because if you try and put 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6 together, you will get 18. So we definitely have to have 1, 2 and 3 in this little sequence. Um, okay, I mean, is it worth notating the missing cells in row 8? Ah, so now we can work out much more precisely what these brown cells add up to, can't we? By using a secret. I haven't taught, how could we have got this far in the puzzle, which has involved maths and I haven't done the secret? That's really weird. But I don't think, I don't think we have had reason to avail ourselves of the secret. And the secret is something I only tell my very favourite people, but if you're watching this video, you're definitely one of my favourite people. And the secret is that the complete contents of a single box of a Sudoku or a single row or a single column sum to 45, because that is the triangular number for nine. Of course, the rules of Sudoku tell us there must be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in box seven. So the total of the whole box is 45. The total of those three squares is nine. The total of that square is seven or eight. So let's imagine that was a seven. That would be 16's worth of digits. So these squares add up to 29 to make the whole box add up to 45. But if this was eight, um, then, then it adjusts slightly and these would be 28. So these are either 28 or 29. Um, hmm. That still doesn't seem very pressurised, actually. I mean, I can't put one or two in these squares anymore. Or three, I suppose. Yeah, because three times nine is only 27. So that's, that's not going to work. So these squares are at least four. Four times nine is 36. But that would put a 9 in one of these. And once added to that, that would be impossible as well, wouldn't it? Because the 9 would have to be included in the count. So we'd have, what was it, minimum of 28 plus 9 is 37 plus the other side is, is already over 40. So actually, I think these digits might have to be at least 5 now. So if they were 5, then we'd up, be up to 45 if we did 9 Five times nine. Um, what do we say that was? Twenty eight. Thirteen forty one. Yeah, that would work. So maybe five times nine is where. We, so I think these have to be at least equal to five. I'm just I'm just mulling that. If I'm. I didn't that that is logical isn't it um I think it is if so if we if we reduced if we did five times eight although we'd be we'd be reducing slightly the overall total well by five we're still getting we're still nowhere near where we need to be because we still have to add thirteen yeah it just doesn't that doesn't work. No, I mean, what I mean is it can, it can work, but I was just thinking about reducing the big number down while keeping the, the five constant, if you like. I think, um, 
yeah, there's just no way. You can't. We just cannot put four in either of these squares because the other digit is going to have to be at least eight. And once we add that eight in, it blows the total up. Yeah, sorry, I'm just being slow. So these these are at least five, but that actually is totally useless in the context. We we know a bit about low digits, but not about high digits. It's a bit strange, actually. What is it that I'm meant to be? So I know those squares add up to 18, including a circle. I haven't thought about the circles very much. So the circles are telling us what, how many times the digit in the circle appears on the snake. Well, that one definitely appears on the snake. That I can tell you about because it's there already. Um, OK, well, that, that's not a one because there's definitely a one in row eight on the snake and there's definitely a one in row. In fact, it's not a two either for that reason, because if, if it was a two, that would be saying there's two twos on the snake. And there's a two in that row and there's a two in that row. So it's not two. Now, it might be able to be three, though. If it was three. Then it would be saying the total count of digit of threes on the snake. Is three and that would be accurate. Provided I didn't put any more threes on the snake. Now, how would we do that? So this, these triples would then both have to be one, two, six. God, Bennett, well, that doesn't work, but for a filthy reason. Good grief. <laughs> I mean, this is quite complicated, but if that is a three, um, the the point is that the three we've now got three threes on the snake already so this triple and this triple can't be one three five and can't be two three four anymore because we've got all the threes we're meant to have so they both have to be one two six which means i've got a one two six triple in row five but what's this digit to make this region sum add up to nine well it's got to be a six but it can't be it's already been a six in the row so that doesn't work so in fact this digit is now at least four I mean, I mean, it can't be massive, this digit, because it can't be nine, because that says put nine, put the nine nines in the puzzle, in, in, in the puzzle on the snake. I mean, even four is quite difficult. Well, no, in fact, it can't be more than four. It is four, because if it was five, let's just, let's just look at this. If it was five, where would we put the five fives on the snake? We can't put any more fives in column six on the snake. We know there's one here. That's true. There's one in that stretch of snake. So that's two fives so far. And there's only two more boxes left. So that's it's impossible to have a bigger number than four in here. So now there are four fours on the snake. And it's the same logic that the four fours on the snake are one there, one there, which is all the snake snake fours I can put into column six. And that this obviously these boxes are out. So we've got to put a four on the snake there. And we've got to put a four on the snake there. And the only four combination for three different digits that works that adds up to nine is two, three, four. So both of these are two, three, four. And that gives us not a one, two, six triple, but a two, three, four triple. This square has to be a five by the maths that four plus five equals nine. So there is a knowledge bomb. Um, two, three, four, two, three, four. That's not, oh, that's not five anymore. So this is, this is getting up even higher. Okay. What does that mean? 
that is a naked single. That is a one. Can't be two or three anymore because of this two, three, four triple. Now that is a two, three, four triple. So that square is not two, three or four. So now, yeah, okay. So if that's, uh, well, the point point is that this is not a two, three, four triple now because this cannot be two, three or four. So the combination here is either one, three, five or one, two, six. That's not a one by Sudoku. Yeah, I see. OK, so one way of thinking about this is that we've got low digits in these squares. And because neither of these triples can be two, three, four, they both must involve a one because they're either one, two, six or one, three, five. So there is definitely a one in one of those squares. Therefore, there is no one in these squares, which means these are two, three and four again. Uh, that's the only way of making nine if you can't use one. So this is two, three, four. That is five or six. That is not two, three or four. We've got a one. Oh, so, OK, so we've got a one, five, six triple in row eight. That uh, I was going to say that's not a four, but I'd already apparently realized that. Why have I got two and three up here? Is that nonsense? Um, ah, no, that's something to do with. That's something to do with this, isn't it? Yeah, that digit is a two or a three. And we know that in this congregation of digits, that digit must exist because one, two and three are in this combination. So that digit ends up over there. Yeah, OK, but but. Yeah, this domino here adds up to nine and it's not four, five and it's not one, eight because there's a one on the region sum line. So here we've either got two, seven or three, six. And, and there's now a floating two, three pair in column six because we've got the two or the three here. And whatever is whatever this is, this uses the other of two or three. So this square is not two or three. I want to say, I want to say, does that mean that's a one? I think it does, actually, because the maximum digit that you can put on this line is a five because it only is able to add up to eight. Um, if it had been able to add up to nine, it could have had a six on it, but it can't. So in fact, now that's a naked single. That's a one. So these three digits are all very high now. They're all six, sevens, eights and nines. Because effectively, this column has got a one, two, three, four, five quintuple within these six cells. Um, hmm, I don't know what that means though, really. Um, okay, what could we do next? What, oh, what I can tell you what I could do, and that's take the low hanging fruit, which I never seem to see. Where is one in box eight? There is the answer. So where is, no, we don't know that. I was going to say, where's one in box five? And it is in one of those squares. If we put, if we put it on the line, does that make a difference? Yes, it can't go on the line because this is a product line. So if you put a one there, then the line is meant to sum to the multiplication of this digit and this digit, which will mean that the line has to sum to this digit. And that digit has appeared on the line. So these three digits would have to add up to zero and that won't work. <laughs> That's really funny. So this is this has got one on it in one of those two cells. Oh, bother. I don't know what that means. Um, Oh, I'm not sure what to do now. 
Um, I'm sorry if you can immediately see. I'm pretty sure the puzzle is basically finished because I think we've done so much beautiful logic and it's all flowed in a in a in a lovely way, hasn't it? It's like it's like you know a mesh clicking into to gear. Once we understood how it worked, we could just fill fill so much of it in. That's not a nine I've noticed by Sudoku. Um, so all we've got to do really is just spot the next natural point and then we'll be away again. Okay, that's not a six now, is it? Because I've worked out that this had to include a two or a three. And if this is a six, that would be a two, three pair and prevent that. So that is now seven or eight. And therefore, and therefore what? Uh, if it's seven, this is a two, four pair. That would be a three. And there would be a three here. And if it's eight, this is either two, five or three, four. And I think, I don't know. I don't think there's a problem there. I mean, it's having an impact on this digit either way. Maybe I'll pencil mark this. So what do we say it was? It's well, it's from two, three, four, and five. So there isn't there. No, there isn't quite a quadruple in this column. Right. That digit has to be there in box um, six because it can't go in there, and that's a two, three, four triple. So those two digits are the same. So that digit goes in one of those squares. Do, do I know what that digit is now? Ah, hang on. Do it. Well, I must be able to count. I suppose I don't know what that is. But what, what digit can this be? Does it have to be four again? <laughs> I know this one isn't on the snake. But we, we did establish that there are four fours on the snake. I established five was impossible. There couldn't be five fives on the snake. Yeah, there are not. There are loads of twos on the snake, and there are loads of threes on the snake. There are there are many more than three threes and two twos on the snake. So that is also a four. Sorry, that's been obvious for ages. Didn't notice. So that's not a four. Uh, that means four is in one of those squares. Look by Sudoku in box thingy thingy. Box nine. That might be helpful. Where's four in box one as well? It's in. I don't know whether it can be on the on the on the product line thing. I don't understand why it couldn't be. No. Okay. So maybe this has got. Maybe this has got more. Yeah, maybe it's got further to run. Actually, I'm starting to realise it's not. It's not. It doesn't just want to collapse. I fear. So I need to use my brain again. Right, come on. Let let the good brain come out. Come on, good brain. Figure something out. That's not a four. I mean that that's not the good brain figuring that out. That's just totally obvious. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, golly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to. I don't even know where to look. Actually. Oh, I right. It's not this line, is it? I'm just noticing that has to be at least a five. And I think the same is true of that because I worked out up here. I couldn't put ones on the end of these product lines because they they just become silly if you do that. So that these two squares are both at least five. So this product, the product of this line is at least 25. And if it's 25, these would add up to 
15, because these would both be 5. 30. Good grief, it is this line. <laughs> that is so weird. It's wonderful, actually. It's wonderful because it's so surprising. It's, I mean, I'm not going to say it's the last place I was looking, but very much. I only started looking at this just purely by accident because I suddenly noticed this square was at least a five. It did not occur to me this was under any pressure at all, but it is because because you can't put more than five five on it. If you try five and six, that's 30, but that requires these two squares to add up to, t to 19 because you deduct the 11 on the ends from 30. And I can't make that up add up to 19 because the maximum it could be would be an eight seven pair so these these have to be double five and that's going to do well it's probably going to do lots um that's not five anymore so the, the, the these numbers are creeping up that's got to be a six seven eight or nine by sudoku these this moves the four out of this square it's got to go down here now because this these two squares add up to 15 definitely so that's six seven eight or nine I'm, i mean i might actually just flash that for a moment just so that i re i recall there is something important about these squares four is here by sudoku so four is in one of all oh, fours on the line up here now have we got something similar going on on this one um no it's a bit different isn't it because this time we could have low digits they don't see yeah these two don't see nearly as much as this one did right but we must be able to do sudoku on fives can't we that's not five anymore um Well, we, we can. <laughs> we, no, is the short answer. We can't do very much Sudoku on fives. At least I don't think we can. How peculiar. Uh, that digit is in one of those two squares by Sudoku. Goodness me. Okay, and so even getting this has not done anything. What's that digit? That digit, oh, six, seven, eight, or nine. Okay, so the, right, that's a little bit interesting. Those two squares add up to uh, 15. Because obviously if the, if the purple ones add up to 15, the yellow ones add up to 15 as well. And do I know what they are? These three. I know one one variation of these is one two six. The other is one three five. So I sort of feel like this this new expedition that we've done into fives. Ah, fives come out of here. Right, that's going to do something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, or not. Well, it's done something. Is it's given me a two three four triple in this column. I think it probably does more than that, though. I'm just trying to work it out. Uh, this... Uh, hang on. Well, this square... Oh, I see. Yeah, this square here has to be two or three. Oh, but no, that, that that's wrong. I think what I just said is wrong. Sorry. No, it's actually not wrong. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It is right. But what, the way to think about that is to say, OK, well, now we've ruled out 1, 2, 5 from this line. It has it must have a 4 on it because it's either 1, 2, 4 adding up to 7 or it's 1, 3, 4 adding up to 8. So it does have a 4 on it and that is legitimate. So this is a 4. Now how many 4s? I've got loads of 4s. Ah, OK, so that's a 4. 4 is in one of these two cells by Sudoku. But can I do better? No, maybe not. I think I'm, I think I'm left with an X wing on fours. So we've got to now. That is obviously a two or a three. Let's just tidy up that pencil mark. So I've got I have got a two three pair in this column. These are ah, look. I can see what that's doing. So that gives me a six seven eight nine quadruple in column five and that is a six seven eight nine quadruple in box five so this is a one two three triple we know that that's not 
a one because that's on the product line -y thing. That gives me a two, three pair in this row. Two, three, four. These, that square is not nine by Sudoku, so there must be a five in this domino. That's not nine by Sudoku, so that's not six, because remember that these two add up to 15. Oh, this is really. I think we're. And now I said that. I said that a bit ago. I'm not saying it again. It was. I was hoist by my own petard last time. Um, golly gosh, it's not. It's really not collapsing this at all. Uh, we worked out, didn't we? That digit is going up. Uh, that digit is now on the line. Look, that one. Let's give that a little blue flash because it has to appear up here on the line now does that then matter what accompanies this digit the minimum value of those squares would be one and six which is seven that's the minimum value Ah, okay, here, here is a point, although again, I, I don't think it's doing anything, but I'm going to make it. I think there's a one in one of these squares, because if there wasn't, this would be a minimum of six and seven. And we've just worked out there's a two or a three on this line up here. So if this adds up to 13, these, if this has two or three on it, the other digit would have to be at least 10, and that doesn't work. So there is a one in one of those two squares, and look, it's not doing anything. Isn't that rotten? <laughs> uh, yes, is the answer. So, so the other digit here is at least six. I don't know. And if it was six, one six is seven. These would have to either be two five or three. It would have to be two five because it couldn't be three four. And that would make this square a two. Don't see a problem with that. Um, but that's a problem. Well, it's not really a problem per se, but it's. Oh, where's the where's the one in this in this domino? Because those two digits have to find a home in this box. Look, and they're going to go into those two squares. So that can't be the one. So this is the one. And that's again, it's going to do nothing. Uh, oh, yeah, rotten puzzle. <laughs> it puts one into one of those squares. And because we know that there's a two or a three on this line, we know that the other digit here is either one or two less than this digit. <laughs> I don't know whether to color those in and put them there. I don't, I don't think that's probably useful. Oh, where is, oh, I've already got it. There's a five over here. These two, I'm going to pencil mark this six, seven, eight, and nine. These are six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, sorry, look. Goodness, um, just by pencil marking, I've discovered a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple in column nine. So these, oh, this is, this might be a problem because now I've got two threes and fives here. Ah, so one of these is a two or a three. The other one can't be a two or a three because I'm adding up to at least, at least seven so this is a, so the five is up the top the five is on this uh on this domino thingy and it either adds up to seven or eight so this square here is an eight is not eight or nine but unfortunately i don't think we know which way round that goes hmm 
its famous last words. There might be a way to we can tell, but I can't see what it is. Um, I've got an awful lot of high digits in this puzzle as well now. There, there could well be a lot of... I'm wondering if I should have done the shading by high and low digits, because I'm getting all these quadruples everywhere. But, yeah, this digit now is a two or a three, because this, the flavour of this one, must be in this domino, so it must go there in box... Um, in, in the box up there. So I might as well shade that in. Those are those are both the same. One of them goes in here. So this is now a two, three, five triple. One is definitely in this domino. So that gets me the one in uh, in box nine. I've now got a five, six pair in row eight. Five, five in this box is in a domino. But okay, yeah, we, we know there's a five up here already, don't we? So that's that's not quite helped. Oh, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I'm not finding it easy to finish, but it is very, very interesting. Um, okay. Do I know? Yeah, okay, so this digit is now orange, isn't it? By the power of this digit being orange. That's got to go there in box number seven. And it's going to be in one of these, so it's going to be in one of those squares. If it's a three. Oh, if it's a three, I'd already have a three in the corner. I was going to say if it's a three, I'd have a chance of a three in the corner in box one as well. Okay. But, how do we do better than this? That question, okay, that, that's a yellow digit that's not a nine. So that can't be a six because we know that yellows together add up to 15. Oh, look, I'm really close to finding something out here. Um, I do know in this box there's a 9 in one of those, so I know for sure that is not a 9. So I now know this is 6, 7 or 8. I know there's a 6 or a 7 up here. Can I, I wonder if I can get the flavour of this 2, 3 pair somehow. I'm not sure. Oh, what about or what about these two? Can we flavour those two somehow? Don't know. Not sure. Or um, I don't know where to look. I have to say, am I just am I just missing something that's staring me in the face? Quite. Probably. I'm so sorry if you if you've seen it already. I I definitely haven't. I, I will reveal that. Why have I got fours pencil marked here? I think I must have meant to put those fours pencil marked into those squares. Because clearly you can't put a four in either of those positions. I mean this column needs five, six, seven, and eight. I know so little about those digits though. Maybe I can prove, would that be even useful though? I was wondering if I could prove something about the value of this square. I know these are adding up to at least 36, don't I? Or multiplying to give at least 36. Oh, but that's, that's impossible. That definitely doesn't work. Because I know these already add up to at least, was it 28? So we must be multiplying bigger numbers than that. What about if we did... Is it possible... The thing is, I think 6 times 9, for example, would work. That would give us 54. That's loads of leeway. What about 6 times 8? 48. 
48, that would be 14 plus that's 42. Yeah, that seems fine, doesn't it? No, okay, I don't get it. I don't see how we're meant to know things. Okay, let's try. I might have to just go completely ham on the pencil marking. These squares are 5, 6, 7 and 8. I know that's not 9 looking at it. So this is 6, 7 or 8. Is that in any way useful? No. 5. Is 5 definitely in these squares? It seems to be. Okay, so 5 in the first row is in one of those three positions. And... Uh, okay, what about these squares then? They definitely... Ah, they have to include 6. There we go. That's going to do it. They have to include a 6 because these two can't and these can't. And if they have to include a six, that gives me this digit. So that's a five. Now, these are adding up to nine. I've just, it's so long since we've made any deductions like that that I couldn't remember what that meant. So this becomes three. So now this doesn't have two on it. So the orange digit is a two. So these squares now are a two, four pair. These add up to 8, so we know that this is a 7. And therefore, what does that mean? That's a 7 by Sudoku now. And that means that's a 2. So that's orange, isn't it? Or orange was our 2 digit. So now these squares are not 2, 7. This is 3, 6. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness, this is so clever. Honestly, 2 and 3... These now are not sixes. Uh, so we get sort of a seven, eight, nine triple in this column. Six comes out of all of these squares. And does that do anything really cool? I'm sure it does, just have to work out what. Okay, so these squares now, we now know what these are. These are one, six and eight. And if that's the case, then I ought to know that that digit is a 9. Has that been... Oh, hang on, that can't be 9, can it? Well, I don't seem to have put 9 in this column anywhere. So it must have to go at the bottom there. So these are not 9. So, ah, <laughs> that's very useful. Because now this is a 7-8 pair. And if that's true, we know the partner of yellow is a 7 or an 8. Which means we can knock 7 and 8 out of these squares. Which gives me a 6-9 pair for the price of nothing. Um... Now, what's that doing? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, that digit is now an 8. So this is not 8. Um, this is also not 7 because of this digit. So we need 5, 6 and 9 into this row. And that's not 6. That one, unfortunately, seems to be able to be just about anything it wants to be. We might be able to get this digit locked down a bit because we, we know a lot about this other brown line now. I, I'm very surprised by the, the sort of the way this is solved. Uh, that's not three. So I've now got a two, four pair in this row. So that's got to be a one. Just from, uh, I've got a two, three, four pair in this row now. So where is the one in, oh, one, one could possibly be on the line. I don't know whether that can be a one or not. That's another thing we're going to have to check. Um, but what I'm so surprised about is that it, the puzzle really holds up. Even once you make a number of breakthroughs um, in terms of the logic, we've, I've really struggled to, to get this finished. I'm not saying I've finished it yet, but I think hopefully I will be able to finish it now. Um, probably famous last words. Three. Oh, three is up there. So we've nearly, uh, that's not a one, look. Okay. Um, so so uh, is it really this digit that we're going to have to look at next? 
We know it can't be a one. I mean, it can't be two or three. The total of the nine would only be nine. And it's definitely adding up to more than that. It's not four. So this is at least a... F it can't be five by pencil marking. So it's now at least a six. It's not a six. Okay, this is getting silly. This is seven or eight. Um, that's surprising. It's surprising, but it's not... So can it be 14? No, actually it's the minimum value of this line now would be 7, 4, 11. 11 and another 7. So 18 is the minimum. So if it was... So it, so it definitely... If it's 7 here, it needs to be with a 3. And then these would have to add up to 11, which they can't. So it's never a 7. It's always an 8. And now... And now we know it can't be 16 because we've already worked out the minimum is more than that. So I think three has to be the answer there. I hope that that's right because I don't know what I've done wrong if not. I'm getting a few sudoku -y type digits filled in as a result of that. And we need 24 on the line, which means that is a nine now, which gives me a five freely. So now these are not nine. That's a six. Um gives me like a triply thing here what else has that done um well that eight is doing a little bit of work but not not massive amounts it's really not it's really not doing enough is it oh that no it's doing more that's a seven now okay that's good so we get a bit more Six eight nine triple in row five apparently unresolved. One six eight ah that's a naked single. That's got to be a one now. So that that takes one out of here without me having to do any maths. So this column now needs three and five. Oh, which tallies very well with what we've got going on actually. Can I get that digit done? Seven eight pair in box eight. So that's a six. Ah, and that's an n digit. Oh, well, we're going to be able to use that, surely. Because didn't I work out this couldn't be a 6? I'm sure I did. Because if that's a 6, this, this line multiplies to 36, but we know we've already got at least 28 in there, plus double 6, which is 40. Yeah, so that's going to have to be 8. That's going to have to be 6. This is no longer 8. Um, where is 9 in box 7? It's got to go there. And presumably, <laughs> well, what do we do now? Well, I, so, oh, I see, we're going to use that to work out the value of row 8, column 2 after all this. Good grief. Because <laughs> we've got 48 on the line. And at the moment, we've got 20 in those digits. So we actually know that these squares have to add up to 28. Now, the way we got 28 was by, was by making that an 8. Then we get 9 and 8, which is 17. Minus 45 is 28. Good grief. So these are 3, 5, 7. And I think we're chocolate teapotted. I'm not sure. I mean, that's 5. That's not 5, sorry. That's not 3. And we get chocolate tea potted. <laughs> Don't believe it. We get the eight here, I suppose. Eight, seven, eight, seven. Uh, that gives me a... Actually, maybe maybe it's all going to unwind from the top now because now I can see things are starting to happen. This row is three, five, six. So the six must go here. And this is... Uh, that, oh, we are going to get three in the corner. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it to last. That that is a three. Oh no, I better not actually, um, because I'm just sort of. Well, no, maybe I can still leave it to last. Seven goes here. Um, these are a one, two, three triple, aren't they? And that is three. So we know these are a one, two pair. What's unwinding? <laughs> this, oh, it's this five. Right, so that's five, that's three, that's three, that's six, that's six, that's one, that's one, that's two. That's nine, that's nine, that's six. What a puzzle. Again, 
this constructor. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, losing its religion. This constructor is something else altogether. Yes. Okay. Do I like that puzzle? No, I love that puzzle. I wish I could have had that, that opportunity. It's another long video. I apologize for that. Um, I know some people like long videos, but some more people also say they haven't got time to watch long videos every day. I totally understand. Um, we, we try and we do try and, and break it up. But I guess also the, the, the unknown variable in all this is that uh, there may have been a very quick way to solve that. Although I don't feel that that's very likely. It felt complicated. And even if I'd spotted everything in the back end efficiently, it was still, you know, there was still a lot to think about. So even allowing for my, yeah, I mean, even spotting that double five was, I mean, it's a really, it's really easy once you see it. And, it, and that's only after you'd got the whole structure of the snake from the beautiful maths and then the beautiful geometry. I see through this constructor is something else altogether. It's just fantastic absolutely fantastic i love that let me know in the comments how you got on with it enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we we maybe try and come up with a, a shorter video tomorrow um i hope that will be okay and that is what people want let me know as i say we'll be back later with more editions or another edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>